Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Nanny Plum and the wise old elf swap jobs for one whole day. Fairy cakes. Who wants fairy cakes? Oh, yes, please. Wise old elf. Hmm, don't mind if I do. Ah, my ears are wiggling. That means there's magic about. Well, I did make the cakes with magic. Why can't you make cakes the normal way? By baking them in the oven. I don't have time for baking in ovens. I have lots of work to do. Ha! Ah, what work? I do more work than you. No, you don't. I do more work than you. I could do what you do, no problem. I could do what you do easily. Why don't you swap jobs? Then you'd know who does the most work. Good idea. Ho, ho, ho. Very funny, Your Majesty. I'm not joking. As your king, I command you to swap jobs for one day. The wise old elf can be Nanny. And Nanny can be the wise old elf. But... But... No buts. It's a royal command. All right, then. You'd better have my hat. And you'd better have my apron. Now, I'd better warn the elves what they're in for. Calling all elves. Just for today, somebody else is going to be the wise old elf. Who is it? Me! <gasps> Danny Plum! Don't worry. She won't do any magic. She has to do everything the elf way. I'm the wise old elf. Ahem. <clears throat> Magic always leads to trouble. Well, I have to go. I'm being Nanny Plum for the day. Goodbye. Oh, I should have taken Nanny's wand away. Don't worry. Nanny said she wouldn't do any magic. Hmm, I'll know if she does. My ears will wiggle. So, what does the wise old elf do all day? He has a list of jobs. He starts with the toy factory. Hello, everyone. I'm the wise old owl. Don't worry. It's just for today. Oh, I see. Um, well, wise old elf, the gloop machine is broken. Can you fix it? No problemo. Time for a bit of magic. My ears are wiggling. Nanny is doing magic. Hello? No magic. All right. Keep your hair on. Nanny, you're the wise old elf today, remember? Oh, yes. How would he fix the gloop machine? He'd probably just kick it. OK. <laughs> the packaging machine isn't working. Do you want me to kick it? Yes, please, wise old elf. <laughs> the paint machine needs fixing. Oh, my foot's beginning to ache. Wise old elf. I'm Nanny Plum today, Your Majesty. Do you have Nanny's list of jobs? List of jobs? I don't think she has one. Nanny isn't one for lists. Why not start by washing my socks? All right, let's go down to the washing room. Oh, these stairs are going up. But a moment ago, they went down. Yes, it's magic. The stairs change all the time. The rooms get bored, so they move around. The toilet was on the roof once. Yes, that was fun. But how do I get down to the kitchen? You ask the stairs to go down. Stairs go down. You have to say the magic word. What magic word? Abracadabra? No, please. Oh, please go down. Thank you. Right, let's get these dirty clothes into the washing machine. How do I turn it on? It's a magic washing machine. You have to talk to it. OK. Washing machine, wash the clothes. Say the magic word. Oh, please. No, abracadabra. Oh, abracadabra. Goodness, this is harder than I thought it would be. Right, then. What does the wise old elf do now? Next on the list, the elf school. Good morning, children. Where's the wise old elf? 
Today, I'm the wise old elf. Ahem. <clears throat> Magic always leads to trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's today's lesson? We've been building a robot. You can ask him anything. OK, where am I? You are on the moon. That's not right, is it? Uh, maybe ask Laura. OK. Ahem. <clears throat> Where am I? You are at the bottom of the sea. Hmm. How would the wise old elf mend it? He'd probably disassemble the bias kernel, Boolean geek logic, Higgs, Boson, Quark, and then rewire them. Even if I had the foggiest idea what you were talking about. Can you see me doing that? No. OK. Magic time! <laughs> dee dee da dum dee ah. My ears are wiggling. Now, where am I? You are here. You can't get more accurate than that. <laughs> Hello? Nanny? I know. Your ears are wiggling. Which means you are doing magic. Stop it. Stop it now. I do not like magic. Now, Holly, what is my next job? Magic school. Oh. Good morning, children. I am Nanny Plum for today. Good morning, Nanny Plum. Today's magic lesson is magic always leads to trouble. So, don't do magic. The end. Is that it? Yes. Now, I think I'll have a little nap. So, this is Nanny Palum's bedroom. It's all flowers, bunnies and cushions. Lovely, isn't it? At least I can have a little sleep. Ah! It's so soft! It's not a bed, it's a giant pudding. What's next? The wise old elf has a little nap. So, this is the wise old elf's bedroom. How could a room be more boring? Oh, that's not a bed. It's a plank of wood. Wise old elf, please report to elf rescue. Ugh. What now? You have to sit here and wait for the red phone to ring. If the red phone rings, you launch elf rescue and save people from deadly peril. Are the biscuits? Yes. Oh, goody. Oh, how could a bed be so soft? Oh, what is it now? Nanny! I want a snack! Nanny! OK, Your Majesty. Aha! Jelly. Your snack, King Thistle. Lovely! What is it? Jelly. Oh, that's magic jelly. We don't want a jelly flood. Oh, oh, there's not going to be a jelly flood. But all it takes is someone to shout, Magic jelly, more, more, more. Who would be foolish enough to shout, Magic jelly, more, more, more. Whoops! Jelly flood! Somebody answer the phone. I'm busy eating biscuits. Nanny, you're in charge. Oh, all right. Hello, Elf Rescue here. It had better be something important. Uh, I, I seem to have made a jelly flood. Can you rescue us, please? Okie dokie. Elf Rescue a go. Launch everything. Elf Rocket A OK. Elf Plane. Okay. Elf helicopter, A OK. Thank goodness you're here, Elf Rescue. A jelly flood isn't a job for Elf Rescue. It's a job for Nanny Plum. Magic time! Thank you, Nanny. Being you for a day wasn't easy. And it wasn't easy being you either. Ah, oh, I'm Nanny Plum again. And I'm the wise old elf. Good. Everything is back to normal. Hooray! Hooray!
Can I celebrate by turning you into a frog? Don't even think about turning me into a frog. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the meadow. <laughs> the new one. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston wants to play fetch the stick. OK, I'll magic up a stick. Ready, Wandy? <whistles> Abracadabra! <whistles> Here you go, Gaston. Fetch the stick. <whistles> <whistles> Again? <whistles> <whistles> It's raining. We're getting wet. No problem. Wand to umbrella. Wow, that's great. Let's go. <laughs> Home and dry. Umbrella to wand. Achoo! Whoops, it sounds like your wand's got a cold. Achoo! Oh, no. Poor Wandy. It's because she got all wet. I'd better call the wand doctor. Hello, is that the wand doctor? Yes, this is the wand doctor. Yes, we've got a sick wand. Put your wand to bed with a hot water bottle and I'll be right over. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. The doctor says you have to put Wandy to bed and he'll be right over. Achoo! Poor Wandy. The wand doctor is here. Hello. But that's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know, I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a fully qualified wand doctor. Oh, I see. We elves make the wands, remember? Yes, why is that? You hate magic. We make wands, but we don't use them. Magic always leads to trouble. Now, where is my patient? Here. Ah, that's loud. <laughs> Tongue out, please. As I thought, a cold. I suggest plenty of rest. The wand needs to stay in bed and keep nice and warm. Will Wandy be able to do magic? Oh, no, no, no. There'll be no waving Wandy around for a while. Oh, what'll I do without a wand? Funny you should ask. I've been working on a brand new wand. Maybe you'd like to try it out. Wow! It's been top secret until now. I call it the Wise Wand 3000. Even I didn't know about it. Gosh, thanks, Wise Old Elf. It's so pretty. You're my best friend. Ooh! And it talks. I love you. Incredible! Amazing! That's not all. This wand has a very special feature no other wand has. What special feature? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. I have to say, wands don't get any better than this. What did he mean by that? What does he ever mean? I always lose interest halfway through. I can't wait to do some magic with my Wise Wand 3000. Well, you will have to wait till tomorrow because it's nearly bedtime. Oh, Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. Bye, Gaston. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Morning, Daddy. Morning, Holly. Ah, the new wand. How is it? It's amazing. I love you. <laughs> Good news, Princess Holly. Wandy is better. The wand doctor was right. She just needed a bit of rest. Oh, that's nice. So you can take that new wand back to the wise old elf if you like. Uh, I think I might like to keep it for a bit. I haven't even tried doing magic with it yet. Oh. Well, what should we do with this? Um, I don't really need it anymore. Can you put it with my baby toys? OK. Oh, well, there you go. Holly's got a new wand now. You're my best friend. <laughs> Hello, Holly. Hello, Ben. Hello, Fleur. Is that a new wand? Yes, 
It's called the Wise Wand 3000. I love you. Wow, it talks. Yes, it's very, very new and top secret. You're my best friend. Oh, <laughs> let's play a game. Yes, what shall we play? Let's play Princesses, Knights and Naughty Witches. Yes. I'll be the princess because I am a princess. And I'll be the brave knight. OK. Wow, real armour. And I'll be the naughty witch. <laughs> what do we do now? The brave knight has to rescue the princess from a tower. What tower? Ha <laughs> ha, this tower. How am I going to rescue you from that? In the stories, the princess grows her hair really long and the knight climbs up it. Oh, yes. Ooh. Climb up that hair, Ben. <laughs> Easy. Elves are good at climbing up hair and I'm an elf. <laughs> Here I am. I've come to rescue you. Thank you, brave knight. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're both trapped. <laughs> oh. We can easily get down. Not if I put bars on the window. Oh, we're stuck. Ha 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 ha. Fleur, lunchtime. Oh, that's my mum. I've got to go. Bye. OK. Bye, Fleur. How are we going to get down? Don't worry. I've got my Wise Wand 3000. You're my best friend. OK, let's get out of here. I love you. Oh, it didn't work. I love you. It's not doing anything. What happened the last time you used it? Nothing. I haven't done any magic with it yet. I love you. It's useless. I wish I had my old wand. <coughs> oh, it's Gaston. Gaston could fetch help. Yes, Gaston, go and get Wandy. Fetch, Gaston, fetch. <coughs> Dee -dee -da -dum. Gaston, you're in a hurry today. <laughs> hey, where are you going with Wandy? The Wise Wand 3000 is meant to be a very special wand, but it doesn't do anything. Maybe it's broken. It doesn't look broken. I love you. Does it ever say anything else? No, apart from... You're my best friend. That. It's actually a bit annoying. Yes, my old one's never talked. It just... Oh, Wandy! My old wand! Here, Gaston. Wandy! Hooray! Oh, Wandy, I'm so glad. from this tower. Yes, indeed. Phew! I think I'll use my old wand from now on. Ah, Princess Holly, how are you getting on with a wise wand 3000? It's broken. Is it? I love you. It looks perfectly fine to me. But it doesn't do magic. Yes, that's the special feature I was talking about. No magic. What? A wand that doesn't do magic? Correct. You see, magic always leads to trouble and also... But a wand that doesn't do magic is not a wand. It's just a stick. So, you're saying that the Wise Wand 3000 is good for absolutely nothing? Yes. yes. I know one thing it's good for. Yes? Here, Gaston, fetch the stick. You're my best friend. I love you. Gaston 
loves fetching sticks. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. You're my best friend. And I love you, Wandy. You're my best friend. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Daisy and Poppy go bananas. Bang, 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 bang. Ah, Daisy, Poppy. Bang, bang. Stop making that awful noise. Bang, bang. <laughs> oh, this is too loud. Daisy, Poppy, I'm taking your wands away and putting them in the cupboard. <laughs> Mummy is right. No more wands until you learn to use them properly. Ah, oh, finally. A bit of peace and quiet. Oh, who's that? Ahem. Granny Thistle is here. Oh, no. My mother. Granny Thistle. Granny. 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 Darlings, 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 marvellous to see you. Holly, give your granny a hug. <laughs> Hello, Granny Thistle. Oh, young Ben Elf, always a pleasure to see you. <laughs> What's wrong with the twins? Why are you so sad? Wandy, Wandy. <gasps> Where are your wands? I've taken them away for now. But how will they do magic without wands? Uh, maybe it's better if Daisy and Poppy don't do magic. Well, they're your children, darling, and the last thing I want to do is interfere. At least Holly has a wand. Oh, yes. Holly's having magic lessons from me. What have you learned, Holly? I can turn people into frogs. Or rabbits. Frogs? You're still on frogs? And rabbits. But that's baby magic. What about the hard stuff, like putting pink spots in the sky? <laughs> or making the trees sing? La, 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 la. No, thank you, Mother. We don't have much need for singing trees. La, la. Or pink spots in the sky. OK, you're the boss. Anyway, I've brought presents. Presents for the children. Presents! Holly, I've brought you this beautiful ring. Thank you. Is it magical? Um, maybe a little. Just don't rub it, OK? OK. And for Daisy and Poppy, two grown-up wands. Wandy! Wandy! But we've just taken their wands away. Yes, it's lucky I came when I did. These wands belonged to your great-grandparents, Vlad the Powerful and Sharon the Totally Insane. Not dangerous, are they? Only as dangerous as the person who waves them. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think we'd better put these straight in the cupboard. Oh, well, of course, you know best. And it's past your bedtime. Mm. Come on, up to bed. Now for your bedtime story. Little Bunny Bunting. Darling, would you mind awfully if I read the twins the story? Uh, oh, yes, of course. How kind. But uh, try not to get them too excited. They're meant to be going to sleep. Of course. Leave it to me. Once upon a time, there lived a rabbit called Little Bunny Bunting. Sounds a bit boring to me. <laughs> this is the book that I had when I was a little girl. Crazy spells for the under fives. <laughs> Spell number one, how to make a storm. Ooh. What a day. Where's Granny now? Uh, she's with the twins. Oh, is that such a good idea? After me, wave your wands. <laughs> Wandy. No wands? Oh, of course. Mummy and Daddy knew best and took your wands away. Never mind. Here's mine. Wandy. Say, thunder, thunder, thunder. Thunder, thunder, thunder. Indoor 
thunderstorm. I wonder if that had something to do with Granny. Hello, is Holly coming out to play? Hello, Ben. She'll be down in a minute. Did you hear the storm last night? Hear it? It was in our bedroom. A storm in a bedroom? Cool. It was a magical storm. Good morning, Mother. I already know the answer to this, but who showed them how to make a magical storm? Me. What a surprise. Only a little indoor weather, darling. Nothing to worry about. What else did you teach them? Oh, just a few harmless little spells. Hi, everyone. Hello, Holly. Morning, Ben. Ah, why are there two Hollies? Daisy and Poppy did a spell on me. We asked them not to, but they did it anyway. This is what happens when Daisy and Poppy do magic. So, it's a little doubling spell. No harm done. It's not like there's ten Hollies. Morning. 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 And if there were, wouldn't that be nice? Wandy, Wandy. Where did they get the wand from? Oh, it seems to be my wand. Bye-bye. <laughs> They've disappeared. The twins have escaped. <laughs> They're out in the wild. Sound the Daisy and Poppy alarm. This is all a big fuss over nothing. Oh, yes! The twins are out there somewhere and they've got your wand. What other spells did you teach them? Ah, uh, I did mention something about walking trees. Tree go walkies. Walkies. Trees are walking towards the little castle. I don't want to hear it. It's like a bad dream. I suppose this is your doing, Nanny Plum. No, it was Granny Thistle. Hello there. Granny Thistle, I might have known. It's been a long time, Cedric. Not long enough, Millicent. You always were a troublemaker. Yes, Mother. You started this. Now you have to sort it out. OK, you're the boss. I just think children should have a bit of fun, that's all. There's good fun and bad fun. This is bad fun. <laughs> My goodness, Daisy and Poppy, you're a long way from home. Bunny Rabbit! <laughs> Froggy! <laughs> ah! Daisy and Poppy are going bananas! <laughs> bananas! I'm a banana! <laughs> oh, darlings! There you are! I see you've been doing lots of fab magic. Chicken! Clap, clap! What? Oh, wonderful! <laughs> hedgehog! Oh, I'm a hedgehog! Groovy! <laughs> Pebbles! You've turned me to stone. Maybe not so good. <laughs> Holly, I think it's time for you to rub that ring now. What's she saying? The ring? Rub the ring? I think she's saying rub the ring. But didn't you say not to rub the ring? I've changed my mind. It's not good fun anymore. Rub the ring. All right, here we go. Huh? What happened? We're back in the little castle. And everything's back to normal. No walking trees or spots in the sky. Yes, Holly rubbed the magic ring. It turned everything back as it was. That is some powerful ring. Yes, the ring belonged to your great-grandfather, Neville the Naughty. Oh, look at the little darlings. They're all tired out. Story, story. You like a story? Of course, my darlings. Dangerous magic for toddlers. How long is my mother staying for? Two weeks. 
Chapter One: How to Turn Mice into Dragons. <laughs> dragon, dragon. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Lucy sleepover. Isn't it lovely having a picnic in the little kingdom? What's the little kingdom? You know, Daddy, where our friends, the fairies and elves, live. Now, Lucy, we've talked about this. Fairies and elves don't exist. But they do, Daddy. Yes, darling. You've met them yourself. Oh, <laughs> it's a charming idea, and I've joined in the game before. But let's not be silly. That's like saying talking animals exist. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. Ah, the talking animal. It's me, Ben Elf. Oh, hello, Ben. Why are you a rabbit? Holly magicked me into one by accident. <laughs> <laughs> ah! uh, was that a talking animal? Help! Help! Rex, come back! <laughs> Rex, no! Naughty dog! <laughs> <laughs> hello, Lucy. Oh, hello, Holly. Have you seen a talking rabbit anywhere? Yes, he was here just now. <laughs> Here I am. Naughty Ben. When we magic you into things, you shouldn't run away. Can you change me back? Of course. <laughs> Phew, that's better. Now let's play a sensible game. Let's play catch. To you, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> to you, Violet. <laughs> I wish I could play in your games, but I'm too big. No problem. I can just shrink you down. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, I'm tiny! <laughs> You're one of the little people now, Lucy. Will I be like this forever? No, only till the morning. You'll be big again tomorrow. Can you make Rex little too? <laughs> <laughs> now you can do all the things we do. Ooh, can I go for a ride on Gaston? <laughs> OK. Hold on to his feelers. Push forward to start. Whoa! And then pull back to fly. Whee! <laughs> Don't pull too far back. You'll lose the loop. Whoa! <laughs> that was really fun. Can I visit your houses? Of course. Would you like to see inside the great elf tree? Or the little castle? Or come to my house? Where is your house, Strawberry? Me and Violet live in the fairy village. Ooh, I'd love to see the fairy village. OK, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, the fairy village. Wow, do you all live inside toadstools? Yes. We used to live inside mushrooms, but the big people kept picking them. No one eats toadstools. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no door to get in. Yes, there is. It's a magic door. You have to tap three times and spin around and say, Open Sesame. <laughs> See? Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, Daddy. My dad's the fairy mayor. Yes, and you're here just in time for the meeting. What meeting? Emergency meeting! Emergency meeting! As your mayor, I have called an emergency meeting because there are big people in the meadow. <laughs> Two grown-ups, one little girl and a dog having a picnic. Now, as you all know, the big people are dangerous. I'll say they stepped on my granddad. And they ate my house. So we must be very careful. And if anyone sees any big people, sound the alarm! <laughs> I've seen a big person. What? Where? Who? Me. I'm a big person. Ah! A big person! Sound the alarm! Ah! Big person! Oh! Don't they like me? Don't worry, Lucy. It's not your fault you're a big person. You're a little person now anyway. Lucy is our friend. Yes, look at her feet. They're far too small to step on anyone. Yes, she does seem a bit small for a big person. Holly shrunk me down. Oh, I see. But Lucy is our friend, whether she is big or small. In that case, we are forgetting our manners. 
Lucy, would you like to join us for lunch as our special guest? Lunch? Sorry, I just remembered. I'm having a picnic with Mum and Dad. We'll take you back. Come on. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. It's true, darling. There really are elves and fairies. And talking rabbits? Well, that's a new one on me, but obviously there are. No, I can't believe it. We must have imagined it all. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Ah! Lucy? Yes. Holly shrunk me down to be a little person today. Oh, that's nice, isn't it, darling? Hmm. Don't worry, she won't be little forever. Just until the morning. I know. You could stay for a sleepover tonight. Oh, wow. Could I? Of course. There's lots of room in the little castle. That would be brilliant. Can I? Uh, I think that would be fine. Have a nice time. Great. Bye, Mum and Dad. See you in the morning. <laughs> hmm. Talking rabbits? Elves? Fairies? Shrunken daughter? Come on, darling. Let's get you home. Yeah. Nanny, say hello to Lucy. Lucy? Who's Lucy? You know Lucy. Do I? She's normally a bit bigger. Oh, Lucy the big person. Hello. Normally a lot bigger, I'd say. I shrank her down. Lucy has come to join us for a sleepover. Well, what will happen when she grows big in the morning? The castle will explode. Don't worry. We'll make sure Lucy is out of the castle before the morning. All right, then. And Gaston and Rex can sleep in the kitchen. What? Oh, all right, then. As long as they don't leave any muddy footprints. Whoa! This is my bedroom. <laughs> we can have a midnight feast. Yes, you have to have a midnight feast at a sleepover. It's the law. <laughs> Gosh, I'm tired. Me too. And me. <sighs> is it midnight yet? No. <sighs> midnight is still hours away. But I'm so sleepy. <sighs> <sighs> We've got to stay up until midnight or it's not a real midnight feast. <sighs> <gasps> My goodness! Rex, what are you doing here? It's morning! You could grow big again any second! Whoa. Out! Out! Quickly! You're starting to grow! Ah, out you go! Just in time! That could have been disastrous! <sighs> What's all the noise about? You woke us up. Holly, where's Lucy? Shh, she's still asleep. What? Well, wake her up and get her out of the castle, quickly, before she gets big. Oh, yes, we forgot. Lucy, Lucy, wake up. What's happening? You're growing. Whoa, let's get out of here. Too late. Gosh, what a funny way to wake up. Lucy, are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. Morning, all. Is Lucy around? Uh, yes. I just wanted to say sorry. Big people aren't all about smashing our houses and stepping on us. Ow! Oops, sorry, Mr Mayor. I didn't mean to step on you. That's quite all right. I couldn't have been stepped on by a nicer person. Um, how am I going to get out of the castle? Oh, a bit of magic will fix that. Phew. Thanks, Nanny Plum. Lucy, 
Home time! That's my mum. I've got to go now. Thanks for the great time. Yes, it was fun. Next time we'll come to your place. Ooh, that would be great. Bye. 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 There you are. Hi, Lucy. Did you have a nice time? It was the best sleepover ever. Wasn't it, Rex? <laughs> <laughs> Today's adventure starts at Mrs. Witch's house. Mrs. Witch's spring clean. Mrs. Witch, are you in? Oh, hello, Nanny Plum. What are you doing here? I'm here to spring clean your cottage. And these are my helpers, Ben and Holly. Hello, Mrs. Mrs. Witch. Witch. Right, spring clean time. Oh. Goodness me, what a mess. Yes, I'm a terrible one for keeping things. I just can't throw anything away. Never mind, I'll throw things away for you. It, yes, the problem is everything in here is magical and dangerous. So someone has to look after it. What? Even this dishcloth? That's a little magic carpet from a magic doll's house. Well, where is this doll's house? Uh, I'm not sure. So you don't need it then, do you? What about this old mirror? That's my magic mirror. Hmm. What's this? That's my magic lamp. There's a genie in it, you know. Of course there is. Oh, dear. I'm not sure I want to spring clean. Ugh, what's this horrid stuff? My slug jam. Slug jam? We'll get rid of that for you. Good. Job done. Uh, thanks. You're really very kind. Nanny Plum, are these things really magical? No. It's just a load of old junk. Now, we've got to get rid of it all, starting with the slug jam. Slug jam? Ugh, disgusting. Nobody would want to eat that. I know. I'll put it safely at the back of the cupboard where no one can find it. I wonder if Mummy would like this mirror. My mum might like this pretty lamp. And maybe someone would want the old carpet. It'd have to be someone with very bad taste. That's a nice carpet. Mrs Witch is throwing it away. Oh, it's not magical, is it? No, Nanny Plum said it's just junk. Do you want it? Yes, I would like it. Thank you. Ah, very nice. Very cosy. Beautiful blue sea and golden sand. It's a tropical paradise. A tropical paradise? I wish I was there. Ah! It is a magic carpet. Whoa! 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 Now listen here, you naughty magic carpet. Take me back at once. Whoa! Hello, Daddy. I've got a present for Mummy. Oh. Where is Mummy? She's been locked in the bathroom for ages getting ready to go out. And I'm hungry. Here I am. You look lovely, Mummy. I've got something for you. Oh, thank you, my dear. It's a magic mirror. Mrs Witch didn't want it anymore. So, what does the magic mirror do? I tell the truth. Oh, how exciting. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? You are, Queen Thistle. Oh, how wonderful. Well, you normally are the fairest of them all. Oh, what do you mean? Well, it's a bit of a bad hair day today, isn't it? Oh, dear. Now I'll have to start all over again. <laughs> what did you say that for? Just telling the truth, Your Majesty. Now we'll be eating even later, and I'm starving. Hello, Mum. I've got a present for you. Mrs Witch had a spring clean and she threw this out. A lamp. Isn't it nice? Oh, lovely. Very brassy. I'll just give it a polish. I am the genie of the lamp. Oh, oh he's very manly. Yeah. <laughs> I will grant you three wishes. 
What should we wish for? Why don't you dance for us? <laughs> Your wish is my command. <laughs> I wish for loud music. Very well. <laughs> I wish we had a big party with all of us dancing. That is your third and final wish. Uh, I can't stop. Uh, neither can I. No more dancing. Stop it now. But you have used up your three wishes. Bye-bye. Oh, no. I don't want to dance forever. Let's go and see King Thistle. He can sort it out. How are you doing in there, darling? I'm hungry. I'm ready. Mummy, you look super. Uh, yes, you look lovely. Right, let's go eat. I'll just ask the mirror what it thinks. Mirror, mirror, on the wall, how does my hair look now? Honestly, not good. Oh, dear, I don't know what to do. Let me help. I am a magic mirror, after all. Oh! There you go, sorted. That's horrid. Change my hair back! No, it looks great! King Thistle, do something! Nobody will notice your hair. Come on, let's go to dinner. No, no, I can't go out like this. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to get a snack. Now then, what would be a lovely, tasty snack? Aha! Why does Nanny always put the best stuff at the back of the cupboard? Mmm! Jam. What on earth is that awful racket? King Thistle! King Thistle! I wished for a big party and now I can't stop dancing! Oh, really? It was a genie from the witch's old lamp! Please help us, King Thistle! Witch's magic, eh? I can't help! Fairy magic doesn't work on witch's magic! Sorry and all that! Ah! Why so now? What are you doing up there? This witch's carpet just flew me off to a tropical paradise. Ah! Well, just keep the noise down. There's a good fellow. My hair! My hair! The mirror has made it even worse. I don't think I can stand much more dancing. How do I stop this thing? Well, if you will all play around with witch's magic... <laughs> <sighs> That's the most disgusting thing I've ever... Uh, Daddy, where did you get that jam? From the back of Nanny's cupboard. <gasps> You've just eaten the witch's slug jam. And it's a bit worse than that. It's magic slug jam. Oh, no! What's going to happen to me now? Um, you might change into a <laughs> slug. This is outrageous! Magic mirrors, flying carpets, magic lamps, slug jam. Mrs. Witch can jolly well take all this stuff back. Mrs. Witch! Mrs. Witch! Oh, hello, King Thistle. I see you tried my slug jam. Ah, uh, yes. Could you turn me back into myself, please? Don't you like being a slug? It's delightful. I just feel a bit, uh, sticky. Oh, very well. Ah, oh, that's better. Mrs. Witch, can you stop us dancing? Of course. And can you magic my hair back to normal? My pleasure. And would you mind taking all this stuff back? I don't want it. Eh? Hey, what? Throwing out all those old things made me realise I needed a proper spring clean. Want a magic saucepan? Now what do we do? All this stuff is too dangerous to just leave lying around. Hmm, this is King's work. Gosh, what have you done to your house? What do you mean? I really liked it how you had it before. Much more witchy. Oh. This lamp would look really good here. That's where I had it. This slug jam would look nice here. That's where it's always lived. The carpet here and the mirror here. Just where I had them. You really have got good taste, Mrs Witch. 
That's why you've got such a nice little house. Oh, thank you. You're a lovely man. Oh, well, you know, I do my best. Goodbye, Mrs Witch. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for all your help. Daddy, did you really think that Mrs Witch's house was nicer with all that stuff in it? No, it was a big smelly mess. Why didn't you say so then? There's a time for telling someone their house is a big smelly mess and a time for being just nice. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. <laughs> the dwarf mine! <laughs> Barnaby, to you, Strawberry. To you, Holly. Whoa! What was that? I don't know. It was coming from the old dwarf mine. But isn't the dwarf mine empty? Yes, I think so. I can hear voices. Whoa! That was loud. We'd better tell the grown-ups. Wise old elf, there are noises in the mine. The mine? What mine? The old dwarf mine. You're not supposed to be in there. It's dangerous. We weren't in there. We just heard a big bang. Yes, and the ground shook. Whoa! Like that. Oh, no. The dwarves have woken up. Woken up? Yes, deep inside the mine, the dwarves have been sleeping. They sleep for years and years. Then, when they wake up, they start to dig. What are they digging for? Precious jewels, gold, diamonds, gemstones. But digging for things doesn't make a big bang noise. It does when the dwarves do it. They carry out big explosions underground. And then dig through the mess. They just dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. Yes, yes, Mrs Elf. They keep digging until they are so tired they fall asleep again. They sleep and sleep and what sleep. What do dwarves look like? They're big. Bigger than us. Yes, dwarves are huge. This is a worrying time. The whole of the little kingdom might get dug up. Holes everywhere. What are we going to do? Just hope. Hope they dig in the other direction. Hope they don't come anywhere near us. Morning all. Just letting you know there'll be some digging work in this area. Oh, no. We apologise in advance for any inconvenience caused to your journey. Journey? What journey? We're not going anywhere. No? I would if I were you. Look at this hole. Someone could fall in. Hmm. I think we need to talk to King Thistle. The wise old elf to see you, Your Majesty. Hmm? Dwarves, Your Majesty. Dwarves? They're back. No. I'm afraid so. We haven't had a dwarf infestation for years. But now they've woken up. I see. Well, they live underground mostly. Maybe they won't bother us. But they've already dug a hole by the elf tree. It's only one hole. Maybe you can turn it into a pond or something. Your Majesty, you don't understand. This is just the start. The dwarfs will dig up all of the little kingdom. Wise old elf, you worry too much. It will be fine. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I say, do you mind? What's that, mate? You've made a great big hole in my courtyard. Now, pal, don't get upset. Upset? My castle is falling over. Yeah, you want to get that fixed? Now, listen here. I'm the king. Oh, a complaint, is it? You'd better talk to the boss. Right, I will. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Good work, chaps. Dig, dig, Keep it going. Dig, dig. Hello. Dig, I want dig, to speak dig, to the boss. Dig, is he... Hang on a minute. Oi, lads, dig, dig. just pop down a second, OK? Right. You were saying... I want to speak to the boss. I'm the boss. Do you have an appointment? He doesn't need one. He's the king. 
A king doesn't make appointments. Not even at the hairdressers. Uh. Daddy doesn't have any hair. He's bald. Well, that's not our fault. Look, we want to complain about the noise. What noise? The noise from the mine. Oh, I can't hear anything. That noise. Now, look, I'm the king, and I'm commanding you to stop all the digging. Yeah, the thing is, though, you're only king above the ground, just to the topsoil. Below that, I'm the boss. But... We can't stop digging anyway. That's what we do. We won't stop until we've found gold and diamonds and gems. I've got an idea. Nanny Plum can magic you up some gold and diamonds and gems. Good thinking, Holly. There we go. Problem solved. Now kindly stop digging. But I can magic up that stuff. Eh? Where's the fun in that? You have to dig for it. Now, if you don't mind, some of us have work to do. Come on, lads. Let's get digging. Well, that could have gone better. Let's go away and come up with another plan. So if no-one wants this treasure, can I have it? Yes, yes, take it. <laughs> Silence, please. Everyone, now, we are gathered here to discuss the dwarf problem. They're making loud bangs. They're digging holes everywhere. They've dug up my carrots. Yes, yes, we all know how annoying they can be. Can't you magic them away? No, fairy magic doesn't work on dwarves. I know how to get rid of the dwarves. We take all this treasure... Aww. ..sneak into the mine and bury the treasure deep down. Oh, and then the dwarves will dig it up. And they'll be happy and stop digging. Correct. Excellent plan. All right, Nanny Plum's in charge. Off you go. But it's my plan. OK, you can both be in charge. Thank you, Your Majesty. But I'm in charge, really. We need to bury the treasure deep down in the mine. But how do we get inside? The train! Clever Ben! Wait for me! Dwarf Mine, here we come! <laughs> <laughs> wow! How deep is the mine? Deep, very deep. Hold tight, everyone! Oh, no! In a dwarf mine, oh so old, we dig for diamonds, we dig for gold. Dig, 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 dig. How can we hide the treasure with all the dwarves around? I know, I'm good at voices. This is the dwarf boss. Come on, lads, let's go, go, go. That's brilliant. Now watch this. All right, boys, tea break. Tea break. OK, boss! <laughs> well done, Nanny Plum. No probs. Right, let's hide this treasure. Quickly now. Dwarves never stop digging for long. Here they come! Gold! I found gold! There we go. Diamonds! There's diamonds here! Have we found treasure? Yes! And lots of it! Well done, lads! Keep digging! Eh? What do you mean, keep digging? In case there's more treasure, of course. We always dig twice as hard when we find treasure. Oh, no! What are you doing here anyway? This is the dwarf-only area. We put the treasure there for you to find. What? We thought you'd stop digging. We thought you'd be happy. Why, how thoughtful of you. And we thought you'd stop making that racket. Well, I suppose all the noise could be a bit upsetting. Yes, yes it is. And that's why we apologise in advance. Come on, lads, let's get digging. But, but... 
this digging has made me quite tired. Oh, me too, boss. Oh, oh. I think they're going to sleep. Yes, they've tired themselves out. Night, night, boss. Night, night, lads. Good. Now they'll sleep for years. They'll sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. And then they'll wake up and start digging all over again. Yes, they'll dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. <laughs>